Now, earlier today, Senator Bernie Sanders, who was running for uh, the Democratic nomination, made a landmark speech about his vision for America. Uh, and look, of course, during this, uh, during this speech, he wanted to make a contrast between his vision of America and President Donald Trump. So he starts out going after Trump and then lays out his vision. Let's take a look. Today, we have a demagogue in the White House who, for cheap political gain, is attempting to deflect the attention of the American people away from the real crises that we face and instead is doing what demagogues always do, and that is to divide people up and legislate hatred. This is a president who supports brutal family separations, border walls, Muslim bans, anti-LGBT policies, deportations, and voter suppression. It is my very strong belief that the United States must reject that path of hatred and divisiveness and instead find the moral conviction to choose a different path, a higher path, a path of compassion, justice, and love. And that is the path that I call democratic socialism. All right. So, look, already, that, that sounds great, right? Um, basically, the complete opposite of what Donald Trump believes. But what actually is democratic socialism? Well, to him, uh, and, and so here's the issue, right? So there are lots of different labels, right? There's socialism, democratic socialism, social democracy. Basically, what Bernie is saying is that uh, his definition of democratic socialism, and he, he lays it out later on in the speech, of course, um, is it's just a different name for being a New Deal Democrat. Now, during his speech, he references uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt quite often. So he is a social democrat in the vein of FDR. Now, the great thing about that is that FDR was a president that was so incredibly popular that they had to pass laws to stop him from continuously being reelected. Like, okay, okay, three term, four term. We had enough of this. Okay, we had enough of this guy. He's, he's going to destroy us. And that's Wall Street talking, right? He's going to destroy us. Oh, my God. He's giving people, like, you know, health care and, 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 and retirement. Ooh, no, we can't have that. So we're going to try to uh, make it so that he can't run for election again. Awesome. <laughs> oh, and, and of course, uh, one of the best parts of the speech is um, basically uh, echoing another politician who said, I welcome their hatred. Mm, I love it. Okay. Uh, but anyway, look, again, uh, progressives in history, they brought us things like Social Security and Medicare uh, and even a, a second Economic Bill of Rights, or at least that's what they were, they were working on. Now, that second Economic Bill of Rights, of course, would be a job guarantee, health care, uh, and among other things, right, that Sanders mentions in that speech. Now, Sanders also said that he wants every man, woman, and child in our country to have health care through Medicare for All, uh, an education, free college, a decent job, job guarantee, affordable housing, etc., cetera, uh, a secure retirement, and to be able to live in a clean environment, which is a Green New Deal. Uh, so... All of that, of course, sounds absolutely amazing, right? That sounds great, unless you're somebody who wants only the rich to get all the benefits of society. Someone if someone like Donald Trump, for example. Uh, Trump has repeatedly criticized Bernie Sanders, calls him Crazy Bernie. I know it's so, cra so crazy to want everybody to have health care. Of course, then again, if you talk to some of the Democrats, some of the right-wing Democrats like John Delaney and... John Hickenlooper, I think it is. I don't know. He's some guy polling at 0%. Uh, and they'll tell you, <clears throat> oh, that socialism is terrible. And we actually can't do that. We can't have any of that stuff. Donald Trump and the right wing are absolutely right. We'll never be a socialist country. In fact, uh, this is what, uh, well, before I get to that uh, quote here, another 
tactic from the right wing right now that they're using is they're basically saying, well, if we go with Bernie's plan, we're going to end up like Venezuela. Which is hilarious because the way that we would end up being Venezuela is if we put sanctions on ourselves and plotted multiple coup attempts. That's kind of what would happen. <laughs> uh, so, or would, would have to happen. We've meddled in South America so much, uh, overthrowing leftist regimes and, and, and putting on economic sanctions, etc. cetera. Uh, and then, then we look, you know, we point the finger and go, oh, look, socialism fails every time. That's because we mess with it every single time. But we don't even want that kind of socialism. What we want is social democracy. What we want is more FDR-style New Deal stuff. You know, stuff that most other countries have. But anyway, um, Trump, and this was during his State of the Union address back in February, he said, quote, Here in the United States, we are alarmed by new calls to adopt socialism in our country. America was founded on liberty and independence, not government coercion, domination and control. We are born free and we will stay free. Tonight, we renew our resolve that America will never be a socialist country. Yes. We will stay free unless, of course, you want an abortion or if you're an unarmed black man who does not want to get shot by the police. In those instances, no, we must dominate you. We must control you. We must destroy you. And that doesn't say anything about what Republicans think about birth control and pornography. I believe Ken Cuccinelli just got a job in the administration. Ken Cuccinelli is the guy who wanted to bland, uh, uh, I'm sorry, ban blowjobs. Come on, man. Republicans, really? Uh, Bernie Sanders is a great um, response to this. A and I want to show that to you guys. Uh, what he's going to do is he's basically going to reverse Donald Trump's criticism and paint him as a socialist as well, but a socialist for the rich. Very clear. While President Trump and his fellow oligarchs attack us for our support of democratic socialism, they don't really oppose all forms of socialism. They may hate democratic socialism because it benefits working people, but they absolutely love corporate socialism that enriches Trump and other billionaires. If you are the Trump family, If you are the Trump family, you got $885 million worth of tax breaks and subsidies for your family's housing empire that is built, was built on racial discrimination. When Trump screams socialism, all of his hypocrisy will not be lost on the American people. Americans know, will know, that he is attacking all that we take for granted, from Social Security to Medicare to veterans' health care to roads and bridges to public schools to national parks to clean water and clean air. When Trump attacks socialism, I am reminded again of what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, and I quote, this country has socialism for the rich rugged individualism for the poor, end quote. And then afterwards, of course, he says, Donald Trump and the Republicans, they are corporate socialists. I love it. And I love, of course, how he takes the example of Donald Trump. Uh, and he mentioned big business as well. Uh, not in that video, but uh, if you watch the stream, uh, he does mention a lot of the big businesses like fossil fuels that get gigantic subsidies, telecom, uh, telecommunications companies, which are infrastructure we built with tax money that they use and profit from, um, and all that stuff. Uh, it, the you know scientific research that goes into creating new drugs, that, that's funded by us, uh, and all that stuff. They gain, these private corporations gain from that socialism. And Bernie Sanders takes all those examples he says, well, you want to talk socialism? That's socialism. This is corporate socialism. He throws it right back in their face, and I absolutely love it. And then he points out that, look, I I'm for the kind of socialism that helps people. You're the type 
that likes the socialism that goes to the rich. And that's what's really important. And that's the difference. Of course we have um, government spending that affects two different types of people, right? We have the government spending that, that, that helps big business in the form of subsidies. And we have the type of uh, government spending in like programs, for example, welfare programs, food stamps, and things like that. And the, it kind of goes back to the two Santas thing. Uh, and I mentioned this a long time ago, right? But it's basically Republicans were tired of Democrats giving things to people that people want. So they said, okay, well, here's what we're going to do. We're, gonna, we're also going to be the Santa, but we're going to cloak it behind fiscal responsibility. And we're going to sell this lie that giving tax cuts, which again is another gift, right? Tax cuts for the middle class. We're also going to put the rich in there, of course, as well. Uh, and we're going to say, oh, no, don't worry. That's a freebie. That doesn't cost us anything. So we can keep passing out these tax cuts like they're candy. Now, the effect of that, of course, is that whenever Democrats try to do anything, Republicans scream, how are you going to pay for it? Well, you can't afford that. Why well, are you going to afford to give out these gifts? And unfortunately, the Democrats of today uh, and, and of the last 30 years are like, oh, my God, they're right. The Republicans are right. We just can't afford to do these things that the people actually want. Things like Medicare for All, which pulls at 77%. Things like free college. Things like even enacting a... a you know, a, a, a $15 minimum wage that doesn't actually cost anything, but then they come in around and lie and, and say, oh, no, that's going to hurt business. And then you have these right-wing corporate Democrats that agree and say, absolutely, the right wing is always correct. That's what they do. That's what they do. And, and that's why I get so mad, by the way, at, at a lot of the corporate Democrats is because they point to the right wing and say, those guys, they're, they're correct on everything. Well, why be a Democrat at all? Well, I mean, even though the right was, uh, is, is right about everything, I just have different opinions. Okay, what are your opinions? Well, low taxes on the rich and uh, uh, less regulation, but slightly more regulation, and every once in a while, they'll throw a bone to the poor. Wow. So inspirational, and you wonder why people don't want to vote for corporate Democrats. Look. Again, the difference here is that Bernie Sanders actually wants to do things that help people and not just incrementalist policy, but actually big, bold policy and things that, is, things that are also incredibly popular. And that is the difference. Well, Donald Trump, of course, um, uses a fake populism demagoguery to get people angry, but continue to do the same kind of Wealth redistribution from the working class and the middle class and the poor to the top. Corporate socialism. And it's perfect. And by the way, democratic socialism, I, don't, I can't believe I have to remind people of this, but it's not Venezuela. It's doing what the rest of the world already does. But in the case of America, I think we can do it better. It, Sanders' bill, Medicare for all, actually is better. And would be the gold standard would be better than any other uh, country's healthcare system. It would be more generous than Canada's uh, and offer more benefits while costing us about $2 trillion, at least $2 trillion less over the next 10 years. It's smart policy and it's great politics. And when push comes to shove, America can do it. We can get it done. We have a history of being able to get it done. And I say that because at one point we were the model of the world because we did get this stuff done. We taxed the rich at 90%. We used money to build the interstate highway, created uh, Medicare and Social Security. We went to the freaking moon. These are not private companies that did this. This wasn't the rich. No, this is the government. This was all of us pooling our resources to help each other and to advance science and to advance technology. We did that once. We can do it again. And you know what? Climate change is right. It's pretty much the perfect opportunity to become the leader again. And guess who has a plan for that? Bernie Sanders. Hey, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the 
YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.